amazing about being on set for the first time with Tracy Norman is that obviously she's an icon and a legend. <laughs> and you know, we kind of have these tall tales in our community and she was definitely one of those like heroines for trans girls, specifically brown trans girls. And so seeing that she had this thriving, amazing career was aspirational for me growing up. When I was leaving my house, I had a dog to feed and rent to pay. That was on my mind. So I had no clue the history that I was making for myself. The first time I had heard about Tracy was when I was probably in high school. I was just at that point in Hawaii transitioning and I heard from girls in Hawaii who had lived in New York about a model that they knew who was a trans woman. And I was like, oh, really? And I was like, oh, whatever, girl, you're lying. And they're like, no, she was on a hair color box. And I was like, really? I was like, that actually existed. <laughs> so I go in, you know, green, not doing anything. And it was, hi, how you doing? You know, just being friendly. I always say if the opportunity presents itself to you, walk through the door. Because that's exactly what happened to me. For me to be the first trans woman of color to be in a Hollywood writer's room, it makes me feel less alone. It makes me feel as if it's possible and hopefully I can do the same thing that Tracy has done, is that I make the path that much clearer and wider for others coming after me.